Hello, this is Lori, and I'm going to show you using Artisan 5 how to fill in this Heartstrings Scrap Art Arty Inspiration template. She's got this new template set, and you can see that there's a mask in the background, and then these two photos on top. And with some of the creative team inspirations, you'll see that these photos match up with a photo that's in the mask behind it. So I'm going to show you how to do that with Artisan 5. There are instructions included on the template that you can do this with Artisan 4. It's a little bit um, clunky. Its uh, masks are not as easy to use in Artisan 4, but I want to show you some of the cool tricks that we can do with Artisan 5 to, to do this very easily. So first, I've pulled a photo onto the page. Yes, I realize there are flowers here, and this is a snow photo, but it's a nice vertical photo that I had easily that I thought would work well for this. And we're going to do this using an effect on the photo. So first, I'm going to select this mask and right mouse and copy it. So I've copied it right off the template itself. Now I'm going to go to the photo and select it, right mouse, effects, edit, add an effect. I will choose insert a mask layer, and then when I click the drop down, I have a choice to paste. So I will paste, and this is the mask that I just copied from the template. So I didn't actually have to go into a kit anywhere and get it, it's right here on the page that I'm looking at. I'm going to leave it as alpha and say OK. And then I will OK this. And you can see here's the mask on the photo. So I will um, use my shift key to select the mask as well as the photo. And arrange, I am going to make it the same size in both um, directions and plop it on top. And then I'll just group and ungroup so that go, it goes to the right layer and I can scroll on down. Now at this point I could take that mask that's behind and I could add some paper or a color to it so it kind of gets all blendy on the background. I'm just going to make it disappear for the moment. So here's my photo and here are these photo spots and they are live. So I can bring the photo into each one of these and then zoom and move it around until I get it to what I think is close to the same spot. Now you can see that I can't zoom up any further than that. It won't get any bigger. So over on the side, instead of importing it and just pulling and dragging, I could say fill the selected element with the photo, which brings up my crop box. And with that crop box, I could crop in to get closer to the photo. Now when I do it, I already start kind of zoomed up, so I can move it now to where I think I want it to be. I can then take this next one, I can do the same thing, fill the selected element with the photo. I'm going to do some pre-cropping on it. And now I can crop it, uh, excuse me, I can zoom it to try to get it into somewhat of a position where it matches up. Now the other nice thing or cool thing about doing this on top, besides of course having the shadows and all, is I don't have to have it exactly where it was. I can now move it over a little bit if I choose to, but my photo in the background on the mask is also live. So I can move that over if I would like, there we go, to get it lined up also about where I want it to be. So while this does take a little bit of a uh, of a an eye to do, everything that there I can manipulate to get it lined up exactly where I want it to be. I maintain the shadows. 
giving each one of these photos that curled edge, and of course the, um, the mats on top. So that is one way to very easily make everything match up when you're using a mask with photo spots on top using Artisan 5. Have fun with it!